Hello and welcome to Imagine Amazing, Oregon HFMA's podcast with its current president, where we discuss what is trending in healthcare finance in the state of Oregon. Yes, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us. Today's podcast is a big one and we're excited. The episode marks the end of two seasons with President Tammy Kuhn and the introduction of the chapter's new president, Meredith Peterson. Yes, it is a farewell to one of the chapter's most amazing presidents, Tammy Kuhn and an introduction to some new faces or voices for those of you who are not watching it on YouTube, who will be introducing some exciting updates and changes coming to Oregon HFMA in 2022 through 2023. Tammy and Meredith, we are so happy to have you join us today. Thanks, as always, I love being a part of this podcast. Uh, Yes, so excited to be part of season four and lead this amazing chapter. And as a reminder to our listeners, this podcast is available on all popular podcast platforms and is now viewable on Oregon HFMA's YouTube channel. To watch the podcast, pop some popcorn, go to YouTube, type in Oregon HFMA Imagine Amazing, click on the desired episode, sit back and enjoy. I'm one of your hosts, Jeff Johnson. And I'm the other host, Kelly Smith. Today's episode of Imagine Amazing is sponsored and made possible by one of Oregon HFMA's gold sponsors, the Aliva Group. The Aliva Group is a woman-owned consulting firm focused on helping healthcare organizations achieve their mission and vision with hands-on assessment, design, and implementation services. Their services cover inpatient and outpatient hospital services, ambulatory and medical groups, revenue cycle best practices, and program strategy. The key to the Leva Group's success is that they don't just know about your business, they've walked in your shoes. To learn more about the Aliva Group, please visit their website at www.thealivagroup.com. Thank you, the Aliva Group, for your support of the chapter and for this podcast. Tammy Kuhn, thank you for being with us again in this episode of Imagine Amazing as past president of Oregon HFMA. And Meredith, welcome to the podcast as Oregon HFMA's newest president. We're so excited to have both of you with us on this episode today. We are. We are so excited to have both of you on this podcast. And we know that with the change of leadership, there's going to be some fun transformations introduced to the chapter in the coming year. I'm very excited to have you on the podcast to talk about the new leadership and what chapter members can expect from Oregon HFMA in the coming year. Thanks, Kelly. So I'm excited to introduce to the chapter our new president, Meredith Peterson. So Meredith is vice president of finance of OHSU Hillsborough Medical Center, formerly Duality Health. And if you haven't heard, she throws an amazing HFMA party. Thank you so much, Tammy. I am so excited to serve as president of Oregon HFMA. Um, the installation dinner at Salishan was super fun. And I love connecting with both old and new friends. So it was super exciting. And I hope everyone um, was able to attend. So um, thinking back on my HFMA career, I had to ask. I first became a member in 2002. um, But I started actively volunteering for the chapter in 2014. And I really wish I had started sooner. Um, This has been exceptionally rewarding. And I learned new skills. Um, and develop relationships with finance leaders across the country and gain so many friends along the way. That is so awesome. Um, You truly are an inspiration. We're so excited to have you as president. I've known you for quite a few years and I just know that you not only throw an awesome party like Tammy talked about at Salishan, that was amazing, but I know it's gonna be a very exciting year. It looks like you've also brought some important chapter guests to this podcast. So will you please take a moment to introduce them to us? Yes, thank you. Um, So Tony Andrade and Ben Shaw are both joining us. Tony is the chapter's president-elect. This is an important year for him as he's building his team and thinking about um, his vision as president. The year goes by so fast. And Ben is a past Oregon HFMA president and past regional executive, and he has agreed to chair a brand new committee the chapter is implementing, so we'll start, um, we'll talk a little bit more about that soon. Welcome, Ben and Tony. So happy to have you here today. 
And since Meredith had a chance to tell us a little bit about herself, we'd love to hear from both of you as well. So maybe you can each take a moment and tell us a little bit about yourselves, what organization you work for, your professional title, and something interesting about yourself. So Ben, how about you go first for us? Sure. Thanks. I'm super excited to be here. Ben Shaw, I am currently up in Washington State and Olympia, Washington. I'm a CEO for Olympia Orthopedic Associates. We're an independent orthopedic group. And um, so I work for a bunch of doctors, which is fun and exciting and not challenging at all. Um, And I've been with HFMA since 2001. I was prior president of the Oregon chapter, regional exec, I think, you know, Meredith kind of mentioned all this already, but um, I've been involved with HFMA as a volunteer for a really long time and uh, feel very passionately about this organization and what it can do for people. Great. Two truths and a lie. That's what I thought of when you said it's fun, exciting, and not challenging at all. (laughs) Correct. (laughs) All right. Thanks, Ben. Tony, how about you? Yeah, um, my name's Tony. I've been, this is entering my 30th year in public accounting, uh, believe it or not. And um, I just realized this is a very rare occurrence, but I'm actually the junior uh, individual in this group because everybody in this group has been a president of HFMA at one time or another. And uh, being president elect, I realized that uh, I, I get to be the, the, the junior partner for, for once. But uh, happy to be here. I've been involved with HFMA since uh, the late 90s. I think it was 1997 was my first year. I was involved in our Washington chapter. I lived up there for many years and moved down to Oregon in 2004. And within a few years, very involved as a, a volunteer. I was treasurer. I was a board member several times. And uh, I was secretary the past two years. And now I'm coming into my president-elect year. So super excited for the upcoming year and for the future for this, uh, for Oregon HFMA. And uh, my interesting fact is I own uh, a lot of music. I own a lot of vinyl records, uh, probably over 2,000 records and uh, uh, quite a bit of CDs and other different music variety uh, items. So happy to be here. Is that what we see in your background, Tony, the collection? It is. That's part of it. Yep. You can see it. Who would have thought that you'd become so hip holding onto that vinyl for so long, right? (laughs) You hold onto it long enough, it comes back into vogue. (laughs) It does. Well, we are so excited to have everyone join us today. And I guess to kick off the podcast, we have our very first question for our new president, Meredith. What can the Oregon HFMA chapter expect for the next year from you, our new president? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. So as I was um, preparing for um, the remarks at Salishan, I've thought a lot about the past two years and really reflected on how challenging the years have been. Our daily lives were upended with COVID-19. Um, Some of us lost loved ones, while others experienced loneliness due to social distancing. We've experienced new stressors and jobs while adjusting to remote work. Um, We've experienced Zoom fatigue, um, shortages of the grocery store, job layoffs, worrying about our health and worrying about others. Um, But at the same time, we've witnessed and experienced extraordinary achievements, advancements, and goodness. Um, We have been part of real-time innovations in telehealth long overdue conversations regarding health inequities are occurring to examine why Black, Latinx, and Indigenous Americans suffered disproportionately during the pandemic. And we've witnessed unprecedented collaboration across industries and disciplines. A little um, closer to home, we've been able to spend more time with our loved ones um, and those in our bubble. We have limited commitments on our calendars leading to a slower pace of life. Some of us developed new hobbies, We've adopted pets. Um, We spent more time on home improvement projects. And then also we've enjoyed the freedom to simply relax in ways that were not possible pre-pandemic. But we've also experienced a new sense of community. And um, with people really wanting to help in any way they're able, 
They have shared food, shopped for their older family members and friends. They've uh, made masks and donated them to hospitals and homeless shelters and celebrated frontline workers with meals and signs. So as I've been thinking ahead to the year to come, I'm ex so excited that we are coming back together as our own community. So as we emerge from the pandemic, my wish for us is that we are better, we are stronger, and we remain together. Such a good theme for us. And I love that you're being so thoughtful about what the past two years have meant for us. And I think there are things that, like you said, were good outcomes. There were things that were bad outcomes. And there's things that have become new habits for us, some that we want to break and some that we want to keep. So uh, I, I love what you're saying and so excited to hear what you bring to the chapter, but really, really special for us. So I can tell this is going to be a lot of fun and some good discussion today. And I have a question for you. And I think you are in a way sort of leading into it. I heard some of the yeah. hints in there. But I heard that there's going to be maybe a new committee coming to the Oregon chapter called the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. So can you tell us a little bit more about the committee, what the members can expect, and what it means long term for the chapter? Yes, uh, thank you. So when I began to uh, envision my year as president, I knew diversity, equity, and inclusion would be a key pillar in our chapter success plan. And as a long-term member of Oregon HFMA, I know we have been making sincere efforts to create an organization where all members are treated um, with dignity and respect. At times we have succeeded, at other times there has been much room for improvement. I am very proud that we are formalizing this work with the addition of a diversity, equity, and inclusion committee. Oregon HFMA is on a journey. Um, we strive to be inclusive and celebrate multiple approaches and points of view. We believe diversity drives innovation, so we're building a culture where difference is valued. And more importantly, creating an environment where everyone from every background feels welcomed and valued is the right thing to do. Ben is here and he is our committee chair. And Ben, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this too. Thanks, Meredith. Uh, first of all, I'm really excited about this. And as Meredith said, the chapter's always been a very welcoming, uh, inclusive chapter. As somebody personally who is brown, who is queer, who is all these things, um, all the boxes that I check, um, it was this group, it was HFMA in Oregon that lifted me up in those times that I needed it and let me know that no matter what, I could be successful in this industry and that I had people around me who would still mentor me and help me grow and help me learn. And I think the beauty of our chapter is that we live this already and all we're doing with this committee is kind of formalizing it and saying, we do all this great work, let's name it, let's do the work, let's celebrate it, and let's bring it to all the members that are part of our community. There's a lot of people that we don't see very often. Uh, a lot of our enterprise members who maybe don't have that confidence to say, this group can will support me, this group will understand me, this group has been in my shoes. And so I think Meredith's idea about bringing us this group together and saying, we're gonna reach out to you and we're gonna let you know you're okay here. We're gonna let you know you're safe, you're supported. And I think we've got some great ideas. We've got a great committee of people with Meredith, myself, and with um, Sasha Purdy and with John Essa. And I think that, uh, and everybody's so excited about it. So I, I think this is gonna be an incredible thing to do. I think we're, once again, we're not the first chapter in the country, but we're one of the first chapters in the country to do this. And um, I just remember sitting with Meredith, I think we were at LTC or something, mm -hmm. and Tammy Jackson, the national chair at the time was speaking with such passion around this topic. And Meredith's like, I wanna do this. And I'm like, I will do it. Let's let's go. So I think it's it's new, it's exciting, we're leading, and all this is an effort to continue to support all of our members the best that we can. Oh, ben, 
couldn't have said it better. It's truly remarkable for anyone who's never been to Oregon HFMA. I'd encourage you to visit and attend everything that Ben and Meredith are talking about. It's so real and it's, it's really an amazing environment. And I can't wait to see what innovative things come out of this committee. So uh, super excited to see what comes. You know what, the other thing that comes to mind is I, I hear both of you talk about it at our last chapter event at Salishan. I don't know how many were in attendance at the lunch event when we did the awards, but we started off that lunch with a question to the audience about how many individuals was it their very first event at Salishan. And I was completely blown away to see that almost 50% of the room raised their hands and you would never have known because they came into the chapter for the first time and were welcomed with open arms and were engaged and were interacting and talking amongst each other. So I think if there's any chapter that can just nail this and hit it out of the park, it's Oregon. So, so excited to see the dedicated effort. Really congratulations. Yes, yes. Love the commitment to this, Meredith. And Ben, so thrilled that you're willing to step back in and spearhead this. So yeah, thank you. We also know that, uh, as you mentioned, Meredith, Tony's joining us as president-elect. So I have a question for you, Tony. It's a four-parter, by the way, so get ready. Um, <laughs> How does someone get involved in Oregon HFMA? That's question number one. And then what are the perks for actually volunteering and getting involved? And then third part, what is the best way to connect on volunteering? So if you really want to get involved, who do they reach out to? And what is the chapter looking for as they watch for future chapter leaders? We hear that often. People come to the events and they're like, oh, I want to... I want to be more involved. I want to do this. Um, you know, what, what is the chapter looking for in someone that becomes a Meredith or a Tammy or a Ben, you know? So if you wouldn't mind starting with part one, that'd be great. Sure. Uh, let me see if I can handle all those questions. But uh, um, the, one of the, I guess, perks of the last few years for me has certainly been involved being involved with the number of volunteers that have stepped up. It's obviously been more of a challenge during the pandemic, but we've had incredible folks come forward and be part of our chapter. Uh, it's actually, when I get approached by new members in our chapter who are you know, just getting involved with HFMA or I get different people going, hey, how can I get more, you know, what's a good way to really meet people? The number one thing I tell them is volunteering. If you can volunteer, you get connected to people immediately. You get to know them. You get pushed into a situation where you've got to learn something. Generally, most volunteers, you come in, um, you're helping. So you're not expected to know the ins and outs of, of everything that we're doing within a committee. You're really going to be assisting the chair and the co-chair in their duties. So it's it's really fairly low pressure. Um, and it really goes back to what is your interest? Are you wanting something that lines up well with what you currently do? So for example, you know, I'm in finance, doing something in finance might be exciting to me, or conversely, maybe it's facilities planning for the chapter, or maybe it's membership and helping our membership get involved and get connected and increasing people's interest in the Oregon chapter. So there's lots of different committees, technology, like um, diversity, equity, and inclusion, lots of great chapter uh, committees to be a part of. And it really feeds into your interest. So if you want something specific, we can go there. And if you want something that's more, hey, I just want to do something. I want to go look at facilities, look at locations. That's certainly also an opportunity. The uh, responsibility for volunteers falls to the secretary. And so I was that last year of Amanda Gordon will be the, is the secretary for this year. So technically she's who you should reach out to. But honestly, if you reach out to Meredith, myself, or Amanda, we will get you connected to those committees. Uh, we also spend time with you telling you all these different committees and what and lining it up with what your interests might be and then connecting you with the chair of that committee. 
So it's actually a very simple process. There's, like I said, there's expectations wise, you're just learning, um, but it's a great way to meet people throughout the state of Oregon. And honestly, it's been uh, one of the, the greatest thrills for me is being involved in the chapter. And then you're part of the planning, you're part of knowing what's coming up when it comes to an installation party and dinner. Uh, just being part of all that is super exciting. So uh, the easiest way is just contacting one of us uh, or submitting through the chapter okay. website. And, and so just to follow up on that, as people are listening and they're, they're hearing Meredith's name and they've heard from you, Tony, that everyone's a past president on here that's actually speaking. So as they hear these individuals and they want to be that next Meredith for the chapter, what is the chapter looking for? Uh, what would someone need to be committed to do it? And maybe that's not just a question for you, Tony, but maybe that's a question for Meredith as well and even Ben and Tammy. I, I can start. So definitely, so um, step one is just that interest and engagement. And so, you know, um, if you have a desire to be an officer and on the president track, we would ask that you um, serve as co-chair and chair of a committee. Um, the next step is then you have an opportunity to be elected as a board of, um, on our board of directors. So that's a two-year term. So super exciting. You get to, um, really make changes to the chapter. So you're approving all changes, voting, um, you're a voting member. And then at that point, you can be elected to be an officer. So the officer track is you start with um, typically one year, um, the pandemic, we stretched it to two, but typically one year as secretary, then one year as president elect, one year as president. And then you're um, also, you're not done, then you get past president and past, past president. So it's um, roughly, I think, a 10-year track, but it's um, it goes fast. And <laughs> it's very rewarding. I'll also throw out to some of us, like me, who's um, motivated by potentially maybe awards or um, like recognition um, <laughs> for volunteering. Um, you do keep um, you each of the main national awards points for your volunteerism, and so those are um, granted on a national basis. And just as you are, you volunteer more, you earn more points, and you're recognized in front of the entire Oregon HMA chapter at our annual event with um, different levels of awards. So um, if that motivates you, I'll just throw it out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the you know perks being the relationships you develop with various um, uh, folks and people from different levels. So you get to interact and really connect with people. And it's, um, you know, when you think about your career and what you're trying to do in healthcare and progress, getting to interact and network with people that have done what you're doing and have that experience and you could easily reach out to them, it, it just becomes an incredible perk, I think, to your future and to your career. And also just personally, you just develop some great friendships. Yeah, I, I do feel like Oregon HFMA truly has become family for me. And I am so excited every opportunity I have to see you all and our, our members. So very good. And the other thing too, when I think back on our chapter leadership and I think about what qualities they have, I, I think these are individuals who are curious and they're engaged and they are frequent attenders so that they're visible and they're just willing to step in and help out whatever kind of help is needed. So you don't have to be an expert at anything. You just have to be interested and ready to participate. And that's the type of leader I think we're looking for. So very good. Meredith, I have another question for you. So I hear also that the chapter is wanting to engage more with other chapters, which I think is a wonderful concept. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about your vision for that. Yeah, so the Oregon chapter has done such great work with partnering with others historically. Um, we invited others, uh, other chapters to join us during the height of the pandemic to attend our virtual conferences. And we rut routinely work with chapters within our region to host uh, webinars on a monthly basis. Recently, we asked the Arizona chapter to share their best practices on certifications, uh, and that was very popular. 
And we have a fun networking event um, planned with a Washington, Alaska chapter at the end of July. But looking forward, we are working on something a little bit more creative um, with chapter leaders in West Virginia. And um, envision the HFMA version of Wife Swap. So um, <laughs> you'll have to stay tuned for that. But um, you know, more will be coming in the uh, in a future podcast. I love that Wife Swap. <laughs> I'm very excited about the chapter president swap. I think it's brilliant, and it really shows how innovative Oregon HFMA is. And also the fun factor that exists even within the chapter. So thank you so much for sharing that. I do have a double question uh, for the chapter presidency. So anyone feel free to respond. Can you tell us any about any plans to bring in certification to the chapter? And are there any new sponsorship opportunities for our vendor partners as well? So Meredith, we'll start with you. Absolutely. I'll speak to sponsorship opportunities and um, we'll let Tony discuss uh, certification. The Oregon chapter loves our vendor partners. Our chapter is dynamic, we're engaged, and we are known for fostering strong relationships across member organizations. Um, Throughout the year, our chapter offers its members and supporters a range of educational and networking opportunities which are made possible in part by the generous support of our vendors. Opportunities range from annual sponsorships at various levels um, where uh, vendors are recognized at our conferences, to one-time sponsorship of activities. Our annual golf tournament is always a very popular option for some of our sponsors. So if you are interested in becoming a sponsor, please visit our website to learn more. And you can also reach out to me and I'll connect you with the appropriate people on our team. Tony, do you wanna talk about certification? We've had exciting um, activity there recently. I'll I'll go through quickly with the two certification options that HFMA offers. One is a CHFP, which is a certified healthcare financial professional. Tends to be somebody that's further down in their career uh, and goes through the testing. And then there's also a CRCR, um, which is the Certified Revenue Cycle Representative. That's a certification that's great for an early careerist. So if you're kind of new to healthcare, you're just learning, you're in revenue cycle, and you want to know more about your role, that's a great certification. These are nationally recognized. HFMA um, offers these tests as part of your membership. And essentially, you get, you get certified and you just keep up with your um, annual training requirements, but it's something that's great on your resume, something that's most organizations recognize and really admire. And it's something that you can use to show your credentials and what you know. So Oregon's done a great job of leading our certification efforts uh, for many years. It's obviously been more of a challenge during the pandemic. We offered several virtual uh, options for people that couldn't attend in person. What was exciting earlier this year is uh, in collaboration with the Arizona chapter, we offered an online course. Uh, Essentially, there was online training for about two days for both CHFP and CRCR. And we had a a great turnout, number of folks that were very excited that attended those events. And then you can take certification at a later time after going through the training courses. So we're hoping to do more of that this upcoming year. We're also planning to do an in-person certification class uh, at the October conference where we'll offer um, a hybrid, I believe, of both in-person and um, through uh, a webinar of some sort. We're kind of working on the details right now. But again, we want to give people the opportunity that if they're interested in getting certified, that they certainly can do so. And again, we'll collaborate with uh, national, with the association, as well as other state chapters to, to get certified. But a great opportunity for, for folks to do this from either the comfort of their home or the comfort of their office. That, that's so great, Tony. And I love the concept of the group certification too. I think there's something really powerful about setting a date, getting together and doing it all at once. So love the organs offering that. And I know too, that the association offers when you receive your certification, I, I don't know what they're called, the tags or the 
flags, the badges, the badges that you can put on your, you know, signatures Signature within your email. And I'm just noticing so many more of those badges nowadays. It's really fun to see that the numbers are increasing. So good job, Oregon. So I want to shift questions back a little bit to Tammy Kuhn. Tammy, you're not off the hook yet, even though this is your maybe your last podcast as outgoing. But I know that as past president and having been past president myself, it can be tempting to finish up your year and maybe you want to take a break. But as past president, how do you intend to stay involved with the chapter? Great question, Kelly. And, you know, you're right. It's such a long time to hit that precedence. And then you're like, oh, it's 10 years. And I don't, you know, I, I do want to just like not do anything. Um, but I kind of, I look at this chapter as my age for my family. I can't imagine not being involved with this chapter. And so, and I'm passionate about helping our members be welcomed with open arms and kind of build the Oregon secret sauce. So I'm joining the membership committee uh, to help all the members gain everything HFMA has to offer from certification to education to networking and to just building an amazing friends. And I want to welcome them to the Oregon HFMA Amazing Family. <laughs> I love it. So Tammy, anything else you'd like to add? No, I, just, um, I, you know, I think it's great that presidents stay involved with the chapter and I know it's, I know it's, Kelly said it's very tempting to want to take that break, but I really, really encourage all of our presidents to stay engaged with the chapter, even after they're done and just start giving back, you know, to other ways, you know, start welcoming, you know, what it's like being a new member, welcome them and just, you know, stay connected to us, stay connected to that family. Awesome. And that's coming from someone who served two years as president and is still excited to be involved. So thank you so much for sharing that. And thank you, honestly, to everyone for being on the podcast today. This has been actually a very fun introduction to each of you and what our members can expect in this upcoming year. So we really appreciate you and are excited for your chapter leadership. Yes, thank you all for joining us today. We loved having you. And now just want to give Meredith an opportunity to give our listeners some updates on chapter up and coming events. Sure. Um, so thanks for asking. There is a lot happening for members of Oregon HFMA in the upcoming year. So in July, we have two um, events. So the first is our summer conference. It's scheduled July 13th through 15th in beautiful Bend, Oregon. The event is family friendly, so bring the kids. Um, also on July 30th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Mayfield Lake Park in Washington, Oregon HFMA will be taking on Washington, Alaska um, in a fun but super serious uh, game of volleyball. We need everyone from Oregon to join us as we defend our title against Washington, Alaska. Please come and enjoy free food and drinks. Um, bring the family as there's plenty to do at the park for everyone. It should be an absolute blast. The chapter will also be participating in incredible monthly webinars. So please follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram for updates and important educational content and chapter events. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Meredith. And thank you again, guests. Today's information I thought was really awesome. So excited about the future of this amazing chapter. And I'm looking forward to getting some sun in Bend and enjoy the venue. I honestly can't wait, um, but who knows, we might get snow because who knows what the weather's <laughs> doing this year, right? It's interesting. Right, yeah, I hope to get some sunshine too. I'm registered for the event and looking forward to seeing everybody. So hopefully everybody will register and we'll have good attendance at that. So hopefully everyone will take advantage of the information shared in today's podcast and join us for the upcoming conference. Meanwhile, we'd like to once again thank everyone for joining us today on this podcast and we extend the warmest wishes to all Oregon HFMA members and want to give a shout out to our amazing healthcare heroes who continue to work at making our lives healthier and happier. Thank you, everybody. This episode of Imagine Amazing is brought to you today by the Aliva Group. 
To learn more about them, please visit www.thealevagroup.com. Thank you, The Aliva Group. This podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and all other popular podcast platforms, as well as YouTube. Please find us, like us, and follow us for exciting content in 2022 through 2023. Also, to learn more about Oregon HFMA, please visit our chapter page at www.hfma.org.